Hey, science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Rod Academy, and I am out here at Ernst Quarries, where we are trying to dig into the ground to find shark teeth. Oh my goodness, look at this one that I just found. It is so fun to find all these treasures in the ground. They've been here for so long, and we're just digging in the dirt. Check this out. All right, so I have this cool sieve right here where I'm gonna be digging inside of this hole. So I dig into this hole right here and grab some of this dirt and I put it on here. And then I kind of go like this, so watch some of the stuff that comes out because sometimes I might get a smaller shark tooth that can fit through these holes. And then on the top, I'm also looking for stuff that might pop up. Here, I want you to come closer. Come see what I found. I found right inside here. Can you see right here? Look right here, I found a shark tooth. Oh, look at that one, that's a nice one. So how come we aren't finding any shark bones? Because the cartilage. Oh, that's right. Sharks are made out of cartilage and that disintegrates over time. You are so smart, give me five. Ugh. <laughs> The public is not the only people that come here to Ernst's quarries to find shark teeth. We also have paleontologists and also university and museums that come out here and try to excavate these amazing new whales and porpoises and dolphin bones that they find out here under this layer of dirt. It is amazing what they've been finding out here. It's so much fun. What everyone is trying to look for out here is a megalodon shark tooth. It is really big, it's really old, and the fascinating thing is that every year there's about 20 to 25 megalodon shark teeth that are found out here. But to be able to find them, they have about 2,300 people that come in to find these. So it's about a 1% chance that you will find a megalodon shark tooth. I did not find one today, but I found a lot of little ones today. Wow, science is so amazing. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless, bye-bye.